Hello and welcome to Matt Tech TV. I'm your host Randy Rogers. This video is going to demonstrate uh, how to complete an e-course built in Eduphoria because I think I've had a, a couple of people that were kind of confused about how to get through it, how to request credit once they were finished with their work and so on, all the steps involved. So I'm going to do a real quick overview of how to do that. First thing you need to do is sign up for an e-course and you do that of course by logging into Eduphoria, clicking on workshop and then if you'll come down here you'll find a section that says e-courses and you can click on this link It'll show you any e-courses that are available currently. Um, so I'm going to go to this one right here that is communicatebetterwithermind.com and I'm going to come up here just like I would a regular course, an in-person co course, a traditional type of PD. I'm going to click register. It'll ask me if I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. And depending on the browser you're using, some of them might not. All right. So then I'm registered for the course. I'm ready to actually start working. And I can do this at any time. This is a, these particular courses are kind of open-ended. You can sign up on one day and come back a week later and work on it or sign up and just go ahead and knock it out right then. But what you do next is you click on this tab right here that says course content. And you can see chapter one getting started. I'm gonna click view. And it's gonna open up this big window here, um, which I'm gonna have to pull this down just a little bit so you can see it. You can see it's got several little chapters here. Um, the first is how to set it up, and I'm going to go through here, yada, yada, read all of this information. Then I'm going to click the next button up here at the top right, and I'm going to keep doing that and go through all of these different lessons on how to use Remind.com. There's a video here I can watch, uh, several overviews of how to use it with a classroom. Uh, I'm going to take the time to watch those. Um, and so on and then I get to the end and I've got a quiz and I'm just gonna for the sake of whatever I'm gonna go through here and just check the first answer on everyone and I'm gonna say score the assessment and uh, then when I'm finished I click the next page and it keeps going through to the final project and tells me what I've got to do to get final credit and then when I'm through with that I can close that window and then I can come up here to this is really important. Got to do this if you want to get credit. So I've gone through, I've walked or watched all the lessons, read all the lessons, I've done the activities, um, I've taken the quiz. This is where we're having a problem sometimes. You need to be sure that you click this button here, request credit. Once I've done that, the course survey comes up. I can complete the course survey and tell how much I loved it or hated it or whatever. I hope you like them. Um, but anyway, that's it. Pretty simple. It was a quick overview, like I said, um, but I hope that helps you understand a little better how to go about signing up for, starting, and completing, and requesting credit for an online course, an e-course in Eduphoria.